you guys we have just got this brand new model swap here for the Honda and it is absolutely sick it is an older style Honda and it works on both the factory 250 and 450 here and we are taking it to the track here with the biggest jumps in MX bikes history and you guys are gonna see if this thing can handle it Hi everyone welcome back to the MX bikes here and today we got something very cool. This actually popped up on MXB mods the other day here. And this is a model swap here for, I put it on the factory bikes and it seems to work good here. This is a 2015 Honda 250 and 450 here today here. And we're gonna check out both bikes here today and just see if we can't rip here today. So this is of course, like I said, it's a 2015. So it's the older style of bike and which has the, um, let me go in third person here real quick, the dual exhaust here. Oh wait, that was sick. Holy hell, so we're on the 250 right now, of course, you guys. We're on Tangled Webs. We're going to go to another track as well in today's video, you guys, as well here. Um, bike sounds pretty good. Like I was saying, though, if you guys want this, I will leave a link down below. And um, right off the rip, oh, my God. All in all, though, I kind of do like how the older Hondas look, bro. They do look pretty good. Obviously, the new ones look really, really good as well, so it's hard to say which one I would like better. But dual exhaust is kind of sick, but it also has its disadvantages, you know what I mean? Ugh, get up over that triple. Let's go back into some first person here. But yeah, first person on this bike looks really good as well here. We got the Mika bars. We got everything dialed in. Bike feels good, though. I, I really like how this bike looks so far. And it's, of course, it doesn't have any graphics. So it's just like one of the naked bike type styles, which honestly, I know not everyone's a fan of, but I I'm a fan of how those bikes look, you know, without the graphics. I kind of like how they look. They just look clean, you know what I mean? Um, but like I said, we are on the 250 right now, and we are on Tangled Webs. And this thing is absolutely barking, bro. I forgot how quick these factory 250s really are. It's absolutely insane. And um, we are going to do another really cool track, you guys. Like I said, I have planned. And that's going to be for the um, the 450 there, which is going to be really, really sick here. But right now on Tangle Webs, this 250 feels really, really good here. Dude, this is sick, bro. And I wanted to check this bike out sooner. Over that double. Oh, we're going a little far outside. Let's cut down and go inside here. There we go. Oh, dude, this thing is sick, bro. Right, let's do a bit of third person, you guys, since, you know, the main topic today is the bikes. So you guys can see it today here. And oh, also, one thing I want to know, everything that I have seen so far, like if you look at the front, the forks and everything, the chain seems to be lined up. I know with some model swaps, it'll break and the forks will literally not be connected. They'll be misaligned and some crazy stuff like that. So everything on this bike seems to be good right off the rip, which you know is also really nice. You love to see a working model swap here. And um, yeah, it's just ripping. Dude, third person, oh my God. These factory bikes are so sick, you guys. Holy rip into this outside here. Oh my God. As you guys can tell, the bike looks absolutely sick as well. So that is sick here. Um, honestly, Tangled Webs is low-key just a really fun track. I don't know why I, I forgot to triple that, damn it. <laughs> uh, this track is just really, really fun. I like how it feels. Um, definitely easier style of track, but still fun to say the least here. One thing I am really looking forward to, you guys, is trying out that 450, bro, because I honestly... Okay, we're jumping a little far there. <laughs> damn it. Okay. Uh, wow. Um, well, like I was saying, though, I'm really looking forward to trying the... Uh, the factory 450 Honda here because I am more of a fan of the 450s in the factory bike packs than the 250s, not because the 250s are bad. I just like how the 450s really feel. So I'm really excited to see how the factory uh, 450 Honda feels, especially with this small swap, bro, because I'm loving it, dude. Let's try this inside out here. I've never really taken this thing, bro. I don't know if that's the move. Yeah, I think outside's probably better through there. Then we can rip up this here. Oh, okay, cool. You guys, I think next crash, we're going to head to. Ugh, triple that, bro, or jump all the way over that, I should say here. Oh, my God, how are we alive? I think next crash, we're going to head to the 450 on the next track. Here, we better not crash right there. I was going to say that would have been croaking. And we're going to see how it feels today, bro, here, because I'm liking this 250 here. Let's go ahead and double over this. Let's see if we can't put in one last. Oh, my God, we almost croaked. One last charge on the 250 here. Let's see if we can't rip here. So up over that triple. We're going a little far. We're done for, aren't we? Wow. That's disappointing. Unbelievable. All right, you guys, we're going to head to the 450. All right, you guys, we've arrived on the 450 here. And I decided, okay, hear me out. I decided to bring it to the track with some of the bigger jumps in the game, bro. And I figured why not to try this thing out here today. Oh, my God. I forgot how peak these jumps are here. We're going to have to take her easy. Oh, my God. Take her easy here on the 450, bro, so we don't croak too hard here into this outside that we go right over. You know, wow, definitely not part of the plan there. Dude, this bike looks so sick, though. 
And I just love the freaking factory bikes in general, man. Especially the 450s. Alright, let's see if we can't rip this 2015 Honda here on some of the biggest jumps in the game. I should say the track with the biggest jumps in the game here, so it sounds better. Um, but let's see if we can't rip here. Ugh, up over that double there. We're actually going to case it a little bit here. Oh my god. Dude, no, we're sketch. Okay, you guys, it might take me a lap here just to... Um, <clears throat> Get, you know, used to the track again here because I haven't played this track in a minute here. Alright, so we got a lap in the books here, bro. Let's see if we can't absolutely rip down here into this outside. Up over that. There we go. A little sketch, so I'm not going to lie. Rip into the outside here. Take her nice and easy so we don't croak. We're jumping off track. Definitely. Wow. What the fuck? Let's go inside here, bro. We're losing the rear. Oh, my God. We are sketch on this Honda, but we are alive, dude. Rip into this outside here. Dude, this track is so sick, though, bro. When you hit the lines, man, it is fun, dude. Dude, that is sick. Even the smallest jumps on this track, bro, are still massive. Like, it's absolutely crazy here. Rip into this outside here. Let's see if we can't hit this without croaking this time. Oh, we're going to case a little bit. Definitely not ideal. Grab fourth up over that. Oh, yeah. All day long. We're actually going a little farther than I wanted to because I want to get a better track for this one. Come on. Oh, little case, bro. We'll be all right. And this outside here, this is the biggest jump on the track, though. Are we going to clear it, dude? Probably not. We'll try, though. Come on. No way. Oh, my God. Nope. Just a tad case by a tad. I mean, major. But we're still alive. I, I don't know how, bro. We're not going to complain. <laughs> Honestly, this factory Honda low-key feels pretty quick, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, we actually are getting over these jumps. I mean, we'll have to hit him wicked, of course, bro, but definitely not too bad. It's pretty easy on this thing here. And then rip into this outside here. Let's see if we can't hit this whole thing this time. Oh, we're jumping off track though on accident. Damn it, dude. Definitely not ideal. Yeah, this track is really sick. But like this one, if you make a mistake in case that you ain't clearing this big boy, come on. But, bro, it is so freaking sick when you get all the way over him like that. I mean, we case a teeny bit, but so sick, you guys. This jump, I have found it's really hard to get over all the way unless you're on, I think it was the, um, the KX. The KX is, like, really quick. So I did actually just notice a glitch. Can we land that? No way. Oh, a glitch with the model swap that I actually wasn't noticing earlier. If I, okay, check this out, you guys. If we hit the brake, oh, sh that's kind of sketch. Oh, and the clutch, bro. Look at that. Okay. I didn't notice that at first, actually. You guys see that, right? <laughs> I mean, not game breaking, but I, just something I didn't notice. This model looks absolutely great. And it just depends if you like the older model swaps or not. Like, not model swaps, sorry. The older model or not compared to the new Honda. Honestly, I love both. Um, I can see why you'd want to use this one as well. It just looks really, really clean here. And if you're a fan of dual exhaust, you know that's probably why as well. Um, personally, I prefer the single exhaust. If you like the dual exhaust, well, here you go. You got a sick model with it. But yeah. Anyways, you guys, let's see if we can't rip here for a second on this track here before we head out here today. Honestly, the bike's sick. The tracks we took it on were sick. And every time I come back in here and play with these factory bikes, because sometimes I just <laughs> ride clap bikes with the boys for videos, it always reminds me of how much I love these factory bikes, bro, and how fun they really freaking are. We lost the rear there. The Honda does feel like it struggles a little bit with rear end traction for sure. Um, the 450 at least, comparing to the other 450s. Um, but I could just be tripping, you know. Let's go inside here. Oh my god, bro. Front end chill. Up over that. Rip into this outside here. Let's hold her wicked. There we go. Into this outside as well. We'll just hold her wicked. Jump all the way over that, bro. Can we get all the way over that? There we go. Let's go inside here. Cased a little bit. Got a teeny bit of bounce. Definitely not ideal. Double down off of that. Rip into this outside here. Take her nice and easy so we don't jump off. Dude! Up over that. Grab fourth over this, bro. So we can have some more momentum. They're all the way over this. Come on. Little case, but we'll be definitely okay. Almost lost the front, though. Let's go really far inside here. Scrub over this, kind of. Did not do it ideally. Grab fourth. Come on, get over the double. Ah, oh, a big case that is going to... Oh, I was going to say send us into a death scene. But how am I... Okay, dude. How am I saving this stuff on this bike right now, bro? Holy... All right, into this outside, which we're somehow still alive. Really? Ooh, how am I alive? With a baggie. Ooh. But you guys, I think we're going to wrap it up there on the factory Honda. I hope you guys did enjoy 
the day. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like and sub down below. It'd be very much appreciated. It does help the channel out greatly. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Look at him send it, boy. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Drop a like and sub to the Real Life Ryan Challenge. Well, you guys, we'll see you guys in the next video, boys.